Hey guys, Dustin here from Classic Elite. This is the continuation of our Max Payne 3 walkthrough. We are shooting up a police station in Brazil because apparently every single cop is bad. Thanks. You know what? I'm sitting so I have. That's why. In the face. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. Falling, dude. I'm trying to shoot you in the head. That meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. Man, I can carry a lot of rounds for these. Nice. Okay. I saw the elevator doors were open. Yeah, I got a max. You can chill out. I'm looking for gold stuff. They had their body armor. There you have it. I had mine. <laughs> you have to move those bodies first. There was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo. It was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix.
I'd killed more cops than cholesterol, and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail. But it was too late for that now. If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. Drink. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now was The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo. And suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king De Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was gonna look good on the resume. And I was in good company. Howell Passos, sent up north to find a washed up gringo who would act tough and play dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself. Nothing I was gonna find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. Yes, but you do not have all the gun golden weapons that you needed, so shut up. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. This was a waste of time. That would have been too easy. The doors were all locked. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. Ah! 
that surprised the hell out of him. <laughs> I love that there's an armory. So you can pick whatever weapon you want. And then they automatically just take your uh There it was. The weapons tape from away. The Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela. Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come. Him and Becker. Alright guys, I'm going to cut it here. Thank you for watching. Please show us some love by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe, favorite our videos, share our stuff on Facebook and Twitter. I am Dustin for Classic Lead, and I will catch you on the flip side.